In the book of Esther, in the Old Testament, there is this phrase that the character Esther used. If I perish, I perish. Now, when I read that, I was inspired, but in another way. I'm not going to talk about the book of Esther in this video because there are some issues with that book, but I'm not going into that in this video. That phrase, if I perish, I perish, I used it in the positive. Because I saw from a young age that it's either you're delivered or the darkness sucks you up. Straight up. And I saw if you want to get away from the darkness, you are resisted. People become violent against you. People lose it against you. They don't want to change their will and how they relate and all of that. And they have their reasons, their will, and you just have to take it. Uh -uh. The moment you want to be free, their will needs to change or they need to, or they will have to change their will and it will be at their expense. They need to be dealt with. And folks don't want to be dealt with. They lose it. You know what I thought? If I perish, I perish. My thought was just like those Hebrew, three Hebrew young men in the book of Daniel that were thrown into a burning furnace. Even if the Mosai does not deliver me from this danger, I'm still not going to bow down to this wickedness. That was my thought. And you know what? I still have that attitude. If I perish, I perish. But now I know I will not perish. Because Christ is with me. Psalms 91. Also, Isaiah chapter 54. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue speaking against me judgment I condemn. So, I know I will not perish. But even if for some reason the most I decide to end this term of my existence on the earth, by allowing something to happen, I'll still praise him. And But I know it will not happen. Why? Because he has given his word. He has given his promise. And I, I am in, in agreement with his promise. So supernaturally, I agree. I perish never. I cannot perish. Because I'm in Christ. And he lives forevermore. He conquered death. He has overcome the world. So I will not perish. So my attitude is, whatever happens, happens. I'll continue. Have the same attitude. To walk by faith, that means to operate in the supernatural, is not for those that want to relief. It's not for wimps, absolutely not. Becoming violent, attacking people, willing against people, that's for wimps. Because that's what the world has. A lot of coward people that use violence to feel relieved. And they target children, they target babies, they target vulnerable people that mean them no harm because they want to feel someone, they want respect, they want validation. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't take that. If someone wants to have an attitude, they need to agree with Christ, trample upon the scorpions and serpents, trample upon Satan and his, uh, and his army. They need to deal with those strongholds and remain standing in faith. Then you can have an attitude. But world people will never do that. They just want easy targets to relieve themselves, to feel at ease. So to walk by faith implies that you will get the homicidal rage of those type of people upon you. You will, you will encounter a lot of psychic attacks. And to be frank, I've been experiencing psychic attacks this morning also. But you know what? I'm in Christ. So I keep going. The same for you, believer. Don't follow the world with their violent, wimpy attitude. Follow Christ. That's where true victory is. That being said, be at peace.